Hey everybody, it's Christina with Mint Strings, and today I want to show you how to ream the holes on your bridge to accommodate our bridge pins. Uh, I'm actually doing this guitar. This is a brand new import guitar, and I'll do a review on this later. This is a solid mahogany 37 inch. It's amazing. I'll, I'll show you it uh, in the next day or so. I'll have a video up for you. But anyhow, uh, in processing this guitar, um, I do a lot, and one is I always upgrade the bridge pins to uh, something that matches and something obviously be better than the plastic. And these plastic pins are in pretty much every guitar. And, and I hate to say it, but uh, I've had people contact me with Taylors and Gibsons, and they want our rosewood or ebony or bridge uh, bone bridge pins uh, because... <laughs> This is so crazy to me. Their $1,000 guitar, their $2,000 guitar came with crappy plastic bridge pins. And that's so amazing to me. But anyhow, so today I'm going to show you very briefly and, uh, you know, show you how easy it is and not to be afraid to do this. Um, so these are the originals. And I have my caliper. This is a great little tool. I got this either at Harbor Freights or on Amazon. And it's, uh, I think, a 6 to $10 tool, sometimes $12. Um, great to have if you're a guitar player um, and cheap enough that you can buy and kind of toss aside and because you will find a use for it at some point uh, besides measuring for your bridge pins and also the nut and saddle. Uh, anyhow, so you can see on the originals they are five, about five mil and I'm measuring at the very top here where it sits. Okay, so let's do this. Right at the tip here. Yeah, it's about 5.06. So we're just going to call 5. 5 mil. And these are our rosewood bridge pins. Beautiful. Uh, with the abalone inlay and the brass. Um, and at the top of these, we are at like 5.45. So it's about a half mil difference. So I'll show you on these... This is the original, and you can see, drop it in, and it fits very nicely there. Ours, I'll put this down a little further so you can see it, does not sit in very nicely. It sits up very high. So, what we're going to do is take this reamer. Uh, these you can get on our website, www.minstrings.com. Um, I believe we have them listed for 6 or $7.00. It goes from 313, uh, three, it's a 313, uh, 1 eighth to 1 half, I believe is what it says. Anyhow, super easy to use. Um, and this is a fairly quick process. Uh, I mean, meaning it doesn't take hours. Uh, this T piece is your handle. This is how basically how you're going to hold it. And when you get this, you will notice that these edges are very sharp. Like not, I mean, I guess if you rain your finger, you might cut yourself. But these are to trim down the holes as you turn it. So I will tell you 100%, never, 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 never drill this out. Because what you need is this tapering. You'll notice that all your bridge pins are tapered. So you want to follow that taper along uh, with this tool. Okay? So what we're going to do is slowly but surely we're going to taper one. Well, let's see, we'll do, we'll do this end one here. We'll taper this down until it sits flush, like the other one. So what you're going to do is put your taper, uh, sorry, your reamer in the hole, and just grab it and turn. Very little pressure. That's a half turn at a time. That's that's one full turn. So I'm going to gently pull this out. Let's see if you can see. You can see it took off a little bit there. I'm sure a little bit probably dropped in here. <sighs> which it did. But anyhow, that's about how much you're taking off at a time. So you're not taking off a lot. And I'll show you. We'll drop this in here. And it does sit, and I don't know if you can tell, it does sit a little bit lower. So it's not going to take much. So I would say probably, I'm going to say probably four to five full turns. So I'm going to do one turn at a time. So we'll start here. Half full. Bridge pin in. It's going to take less than that. Might take three. Let's 
see if we can see that. There we go. Sitting down there further. And I'm not jamming it down there. I'm just placing it in there. So I'm going to do one more turn because I think it's going to be three. So put this back in. Start here. One half. One full. And of course, when you pull it out, you want to pull it straight up. You don't want to pull it at an angle because you want to keep that proper taper there. And we're getting close. So maybe four. So I just tap to get this in. You don't want to jam it. So put this out again. We'll do our fourth turn. Half. One. Drop this in again. Tap, tap. Pretty close. I think I was right on the money. I think it's going to be that five turns. Okay, one more time. And this time I'm going to go a half turn because I'm so close to the end of getting it to the top there. So I'm just going to do a half turn. And that's what you want to do when you get that close, where it's just close enough to the bridge or getting the end. You want to do a half turn. And that's looking pretty close. So, let's see, bring this a little closer here. You can see there is a top notch. And I want to compare these very quickly so you can see what I'm talking about. You can see there that the, our top notch is, is uh, more of a gap there. So, it, I will say it's wider. So, it's wider at the top right here versus... This one here, this is very, very thin. So that's, this is going to look like it's sitting up a little bit higher than it actually is. So there's a little bit of a gap here. When you push down a little bit, it sits perfectly flush there. And hopefully you can see that. But you can see that that pin sits up higher than the original. And it's just because of the way that they're made. Hopefully you can see that. Um, let's see, we can get a different angle here. See how that bridge, our bridge pin sits up higher, but it's fully flush now with the bridge, which is exactly how it should be. Four and a half turns of the reamer is what it was required to get it that low. And you see it took just, what, two minutes, maybe? So two minutes, 12 minutes total for, for six. It's not going to take long. Um, but you want to be very careful when you do this so that you don't over-ream. You want to be able to set it in place, let it drop on its own, one tap, and it should go in place. Um, that one or two taps should make it tight. It shouldn't just pull out very quickly. So you want to have to do a little wiggle to get it out. So there you go. Um, that's how you use the reamer to uh, enlarge the bridge uh, bridge pin holes and uh, super simple. Um, it's I, I would say the biggest risk is going too fast or not taking the time to do exactly what I did do a full turn, do a full turn. Once you get really close to, to sitting where it's supposed to, then you want to do a half turn, even a quarter turn. You just don't want to overdo it. Uh, I would rather see it where you have to have it sitting here and have to push a little bit harder. You just don't want to ever have to jam it down there. If you're putting too much pressure to put, get it in the rest of the way, you want to do like an eighth of a turn, just a very small turn. So there you go. That's how you ream the, the uh, holes for these bridge pins. One additional note on these bridge pins, please do not assume that because I did three and a half, four and a half turns on this bridge pin to get this to, to sit correctly, that each one will be the same exact amount of turns. So I've moved forward to start doing these pins. This pin only took two and a half turns to get it to sit properly. So just on a side note, every pin is going to be a different amount of turns. Assume that to do not assume it's going to be the same for anything so make sure super important okay another tip on installing these bridge pins i'm completely done now with the six bridge pins um as you go like i stated you want to be very careful to do each one as an individual do not assume that each one will be the same amount of turns um, if you, by accident, make an extra turn that's a little bit too much and it drops in and, and, and is very easy to pull out, as you can see, um, you should be able to hear that, that squeaking noise with it going in. 
like that, that tells you that there's just enough room for this to fit. It's going to hold tight. If you drop it in and it drops in and, and you can pull on it easily, that means the hole is too big. So what you want to do is stop what you're doing and grab your six pins and try each one in the hole because each one is fractionally different. Um, and you might find one that's slightly bigger that will fit in that hole. So again, you know, you want to do this very slowly, very carefully, but it, it is it is definitely a super easy job. And as you can see, um, this is a beautiful set. I mean, this is, it really adds so much to this guitar. You can see the, the um, abalone on the rosette here. It's inlaid. It's absolutely gorgeous. And now it has, um, oh, my lighting is terrible in here. Um, Anyhow, you can, I don't know if you can see, they actually match really beautifully to the, uh, in, to the rosette here. I just can't get the lighting correct. Anyhow, there you go. So, uh, hopefully that helps you guys out and, um, go for it. Add these pins. They're beautiful and they definitely add to the sound quality of the guitar. Have a great day.